the exclusive world of professional polo, this was a disaster like no one had ever seen. One after another, seven horses fell to the ground in front of fans, waiting for Sunday's quarterfinal match at the International Polo Club in Palm Beach County. There were two or three of them that were a little off balanced and uh, looked like they were having a little bit of difficulty. And uh, within an hour, you know, I would say, or half an hour from there, the horses started dropping. Veterinarians were unable to save a single sick horse. By Monday morning, 21 were dead, all of them from the same Venezuelan team. It's just so sad. I mean, you have to understand the sport of polo. I mean, these horses are wonderful athletes. The animals were housed here for the last six months at the team stables for Lechuza Caracas polo team. Handlers told veterinarians the horses received vitamins, nothing else, before the match. They were worth nearly $2 million, a devastating blow to team owner Victor Vargas and his players. In Wellington, we lost 21 family members. Still, some in this horse-loving community are hoping the horses weren't pushed too hard for a win. You know, you never know if it's tainted inside or something. You don't know what's going on. The tournament has been put on hold until midweek, while experts in Central Florida try to figure out what killed so many so quickly. The stands may be quiet here, but fans are still buzzing. Rumors are flying about what happened here Sunday, and they're not likely to die down until Friday at the earliest. That's when test results are due back. Kelly Cobiella, CBS News, Wellington, Florida.